Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. All right. In this video, I'm going to share with you something rather controversial. I'm I'm very sure you will have an opinion either for or against. Okay. And I'll give you the topic. I don't know the wordings uh, or the thumbnail that I'll decide later. But the topic is mainly why I insist in my groups, uh, people call not only me, but people who are like elder than them, sir or madam. Okay. It's a general rule that I have across all my groups. I have around, uh, I think, 11 or 13, uh, quite a number of groups. But um, if you want to join my groups, you respect one another as sir or madam. And uh, if a 20-year-old talks to a 20-year-old, still sir, unless, of course, they say, no, nah, it's fine. But however, the admins and the people who are senior all of them, if you're 20s and you chat with someone who is in their 50s, sir, even if you're 30, say 35, 36, and you're speaking to someone who's 40, sir, and uh, if the person has accomplished, let's say, a career or is successful or is well-to-do, and um, you have to respect them. Now, I know what you'll say. What if he's poor? There are members who are not very rich and financially off who are 60 years old in my group, we call them sir. We call them with respect, okay, sir and madam. Okay, so just so that you get that out of your head. So in this video, I'm going to share with you my logic behind having this. Feel free to tell me if you disagree. And I do not give people second chances. I just remove them out of my group. Okay, so in case you're new to my channel, my name is Loy Macedo. I'm a personal branding strategist. I help people get well-paying jobs in Dubai, especially UAE, and uh, also Saudi, Bahrain, Qatar, Oman. I also, uh, people also book my services for coaching, consulting, uh, when they want to talk to me. They want advice. They can't share some very confidential stuff. Um, so they book my sessions, either email or uh, video, audio calls. Uh, details are put down below. And yes, people when they migrate to Canada, Australia, uh, Europe, parts of the West, uh, if they want to know any bit of information, which I guess they can't speak openly about, because I have contacts and connections in certain countries, I'm able to provide that service. Anyway, that is what I do professionally. So now coming to this sir uh, thing. I'm very aware of the fact that uh, India, because my audience is Indians. They always have this British imperialist. The British imperialists ruled India and they gave a slave mentality kind of thing to Indians. So when you see a white man or when you see British, British, uh, they call it, you have to say, sir. Okay. And yes, if you see uh, movies, American movies of slavery, they always call the landowner, sir. Okay. The slaves. So it does have a very negative connotation. But but if you look at the military, if you look at the Navy, if you look at the armed forces, they call their senior sir. They call it the person sir. Even if the person's younger to you, but he is a rank above you, they call him sir. So you can tell me why. Okay. You tell me why instead of me telling you why. Okay. That is one. Then you say, oh, you're not military. I'll, I'll come to that. The second is, whenever I get a 20-year-old who calls me, hey, Loy, how are you, man? Or, hey, buddy, hey, dude, hey, dog, D-A-W-G. So I ask him, uh, what's your father's name? So I ask him, why? No, no what's your father's name? Just, just curious. They'll give me Paul or Michael or Ramesh or whatever. Okay, and your mom's name? They'll, they'll say either whatever it is, uh, Anne or uh, Susan or Sheila or whatever. Okay. So then I ask him, when you address your father, 
you address him as dad, pop, or you call him his name. Hey, Ramesh. No, no, I call my dad, dad, daddy or dad or pop. Okay. With love and affection and respect. Yeah. Mother, do you call her Susan? Hey, Susan. Or Helen. Hey, Helen. No, you call her mummy. Okay. So you give them the respect of being elder to you. What about your teachers? I ask them. They say, yeah, with teachers also, I don't call them with the name. I call them Sir, Mr. Paul or Mr. Um, you know, Kumar or whatever. Fine. So then I tell, then I remind them, just as you call your elders, Sir, Madam, give them the proper title and respect, you'll do the same in my groups because there are a lot of people who are very accomplished here who don't need you. You want to join the group. We don't need you. You want to join? Also. And yes, there are people who have accomplished in terms of sports, success, money, position. We give them the respect. If you meet, let's say, a film actor, say Rajnikant, Shah Rukh Khan, Mr. Shah Rukh Khan, Sir Shah Rukh Khan, or uh, you meet a politician, Narendra Modi, you don't say, hey, Modi, how are you doing, buddy? Saying, Sir, Your Excellency. You give them the respect. Okay. So there's a, there's a kind of protocol. Now, when I was young, so that you know, when I was young, I also felt the same way that this sir is slavery, slave mentality, you have to be equal. And you will not believe this. In my 20s, I was to literally call them by the name. I even met B.R. Shetty, who is a billionaire. I called him, uh, I called him, yeah, I think I called him Mr. Shetty. Okay. Uh, I didn't call him by the name. Um, but I, I used to call most of the people like with their first name. And many of them were very humble. In fact, if you go to the West, United States, they insist, call me by my name. Don't call me Mr. Don't call me Sir in US and all of that. But I'll tell you what is the problem here. We mistake someone's humility. We mistake the Western, this thing of humility as weakness. And then I've seen this so many times where an unqualified person, person who has not achieved anything, person who is not rich, person who is absolutely a roadside, useless piece of trash. And why do I categorize a human that way? If you have no money, you have no money, you're living on borrowed money, you don't have a career, you're sitting at home expecting favors, you're a bum. Uh, you, do not, you have not seen the world, but you know everything because of Google. You're busy making fun of other people. So these are categories of bums. Okay. So when you have not done anything and there is someone who has accomplished something and you disrespect that person because you have an opinion. Many times I've seen, let's say, for example, in one of my groups, this one guy got thrown out. He was, this my, this is a client and friend. He had given an opinion about Indian politics. No sooner I had done that, that time there were not many groups. There were a few. And that time I didn't have categories where you'll join. So this guy joined. He's uh, in his 20s, student. So as soon as he gave an opinion about politics, he said, hey, listen, ass. Actually, listen, you ass. This is not the way, blah, blah, blah. He gave his opinion. What jack shit do you know about India? And your phone shows, phone number shows you're not even an Indian. So you know, like threatening, keep out of it. Mind your fucking business. That's how he spoke. What he didn't know is the guy he is speaking to is nearly 60 years old. He's a multimillionaire. He earns more than, more than a million per month. Very rich, very successful, very humble. And you will not believe what he responded. He said, I apologize. I'm sorry. Just give my opinion. You don't have to give me abuse for that. This 20-year-old didn't apologize, nothing. And he was India student. Uh, not student, sorry. He's without a job. Now, sooner I saw that, I stepped in and I said, my, my dear, you're talking to a guy who has money in this and he has achieved so many things and he's old enough to be like such an age. This guy, this 20-year-old is saying, yeah, so what? Does money make you superior? He's, he's actually telling, does money make you superior? Just because you have age, you have numbers in your age, does that mean you know more than me? And he kept going defensive. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to tell him in a nice way, this guy is elder than you. He's a multimillionaire. He has children of your age. 
he has traveled the world and he keeps traveling for business the thing he gets invited as a vip for events and you don't have anything you don't even have a job you and you're disrespecting him and he was giving all the reasons i'm not a like with profan i'm not a fucking slave i don't give a damn about this he was telling me oh, i respect you but i was like and i realized this is not a guy who can be coached or mentored i didn't need to inform him promote him okay now what i've experienced this is my experience most of our indians when they want something they are very nice sir please sir help me sir thank you sir whatever sir okay but the minute you refuse or they get what they want they stop being very respectful with you they start a, and they actually these are actual words that have been used on me when i have refused someone either i refused to give them money or i have refused to help them for free or given my service for free this is sir please help me sir this the three marky bosri ke banchot you fucking freak you think you suddenly they change their color so then you realize this um, respect was not genuine and then i get a lot of people who when they want to join my group they say sir i i know it's fake i know it doesn't come from the heart loy sir i want to join your group sir yeah whatever but eventually i realize this is not a genuine person i prefer to have humble nice people in my group people who want to learn I'll I'll give a few examples. I have this guy. Most of you know him because he comments on literally every video. Swastik Patel. He's twenty, hardly twenty-one. Almost everyone, whether you're twenty, younger than him, nineteen, whether you're forty, whether you're sixty, he will call everyone sir. Very very humble guy. Very humble. And uh, very polite. Follows. You will not believe how much delight I take in. in speaking or communicating with him and he is one guy whom i would really want to help and it's not just him there are others who are also there in my group who really are so humble you really feel like helping them and wanting to make a difference in their lives now let's for a minute forget my group just chuck it it's just a group nothing great don't you think if you want to succeed in life if you respect people who are elder than you respect people who have accomplished even a small thing or forget that even if they are not rich but they have age and wisdom and you you know humble yourself in front of them do you lose anything now i know what you'll ask me what about you loy have you been humble when i was in my 20s i was a cocky son of a bitch okay and this went on until 30s always sort muscles and youth and you know because i never had guidance but once i started the mentoring process and i got my mentor i realized who, who i am a nothing a nobody a guy who one day when he'll die he'll go to dust so if i want blessings from my elders from people who are accomplished from people who are better than me i need to listen to them i need to like they call it guru dakshina in fact i'll i'll leave you with a just leave you with maybe one or two examples and then end this there was this networking event where uh, uh where i was part of i was part of and seen a lot of vips okay and uh, it so happened at this event everyone had their glass scotch so there were many people and i was with my mentor that time and we were standing there i was not drinking scotch red bull and this guy came hey hi how are you and all that and uh, suit everything else and we were talking to ceos and big guys my 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 boss my mentor he was talking i was just standing there i kept my mouth shut and all these guys and including this guy this particular guy mustaj and all that i mean normal like hey how are you guys yeah yeah those motherfuckers ha 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 and he was talking and this and okay fine whatever after two or three days as we were sitting in the office there were a couple of interview candidates who had to come for an interview and uh, one of them i won't take his name he came let's say his name is anil 
fictitious name, Anil came, Anil Kumar. When he came up, and lo and behold, it's the same guy. The same guy who was standing with us at the party in Scotch. And he was looking for a job as an engineer, which paid around $2,000 or so. And my boss, CEO, is sitting there. I'm sitting on the sofa. He comes in. And as soon as he enters, mind you, he's the owner of a company which is having a turnover of like 11, 11 million US dollars. Okay, big. 11 million US dollars. Racks to riches. He employs 50 professionals, mostly engineers. And I'm sitting with him. And this guy needs a job. He comes in and no sooner he comes in, he addresses my, my boss, who my, like my mentor, who I used to call almost like, sir, calls him by his name. Hey, Disosa, how are you doing, man? You know, when I saw that, I was like, huh? My boss, he was there, he just kept quiet. He didn't show any expression. Hey, Disosa, how are you doing? Hey, nice to see you, man, that day at the party and all that. And he walks in and all that and he's just quiet. And then uh, he says, nice to see you. And he doesn't even take the permission and he sits down. Like, to give you an idea, this is like a big table. He's sitting here, big table. There are two chairs, like, like a kind of a sofa. Okay. He doesn't take permission, walks in and sits here. And uh, nice to see you again, man. And I didn't know you had this vacancy and... I was like, uh, okay. I I didn't know how my boss would react. My boss just sat quiet. Okay. Mm. So you applied for a job as an engineer. Okay. He saw his CV and he said, okay, fine. Um, I already met you. I know you. I seen your CV. Everything is written there. I'll let you know if I need something. I'll let you know. He's like, uh, you don't have any questions to ask, technical or other way. No, no, everything is there. I I, th I want to thank you for coming. I appreciate. Um, I will let you know. And he was like, a hey, cool man. And uh, by the way, I will really look forward to meeting you again. Huh? It was a great thing. And he shook hands. Yeah, I mean, bye, whatever. After he went, I looked at my boss. My boss looked at me and I was like, uh, okay. My boss and I knew. And I just asked my boss because I wanted, he is rejected, right? So what my boss told me is, he said, Loy, if without a job, his ignorance, arrogance, his head is so big, without a job, where he just, uh, he's earning, applying for a job that pays only $2,000. If his ego is so big, what will happen if tomorrow, you know, he gets $500 more? My, my boss, whose turnover is like 11 million US dollars, he was humble, but this guy wasn't. I mean, I, my blood was boiling to be honest with you, when I saw that behavior. And this guy apparently didn't get any job. He kept trying and he used to call me up because he'd gone and called my boss directly. Hey, Loy, how are you doing, man? Buddy, you know, anything happening? And after I think uh, his visa got over, he was sent back. I still, it's a mystery. How did he get called for that interview thing? Okay, so this was one. The final example I'll give you is today. I got this young man. He sent me a polite, everything nice. He sent me a requirement for a job vacancy. It was very badly written. Horrible. So what I did is he wanted to advertise this in my group. I said, okay, fine. So what I did is I took that. I spent 15 to 20 minutes editing it, making it very proper making it very profound because he had written, I don't know what the hell he had written, an essay or something. I, for past 20 years, I've been involved in helping people get jobs and writing vacancies. And I'm a wordsmith. That's my core business. Like, So I wrote it very nicely. And I said, this is, instead of this nonsense, which is like one full 
or half a A4 size paper. These are few points for this. The guy immediately sends, hey, that's really good, man. That's really good or whatever. Good, we'll use this. I just kept quiet. Now, just imagine, I, he is junior to me. He's asking me a favor to advertise this on my groups. He needs my help. And his work that he did was crap. I gave 15 to 20 minutes of my time for free. I edit it and give it to him. And the first thing I'd say, hey, that's good. That's good. We will use this one. Immediately, I told him, this is the reason I hate fucking Indians. Or being an Indian myself, I hate fucking Indians. You being younger than me, like a fucking kid, you wanted my permission to take my favor, to advertise to my groups. And I helped you edit something, gave you 20 minutes of my time. And the first thing you have to say is, hey, that's good, man. Uh, like, as if I'm your fucking dog. As if you're fucking equal to me. All he had to say is, sir, I, like, if it was me, if it was me, my God, sir, I, I would say, oh my God, sir, wow, this is amazing, sir. I really appreciate what you've done, sir. Sir, thank you. That's me. I don't know about others. I would have appreciated what the sir did. I would say, sir, thank you for giving your time. You have this thing. Never expected it, sir. This is fantastic, sir. This is me, really. Because I'm learning something from someone. I need a favor from someone. Not, hey, good job, man. Good. What? Fuck you, man. So, what I did, simple. For me, it's very simple. You don't deserve my presence. You don't deserve my expertise. You don't deserve my guidance. I threw him out of the group. Threw him out. And forget sharing it. I'm not going to share it with nobody. I literally charge people, man, for the stuff that I do. And I did it free for this guy. Mannerless. That is why so many of our Indians, big degree, big this, big that, they earn in rupees, they earn in peanuts. Nobody respects. They don't have any manners. It's so sad. So sad. There are many other examples which I have like this, but um, I'll tell you, it's very unfortunate, very unfortunate that our Indians having so much of talent, so much of potential, so much of an ability, like they say, to rule the world, take on the best of the best. They don't have manners. They don't know basic etiquettes. They don't know how to present them. They don't know how to communicate. They don't know how to be humble. They have their fucking ego up. And they demand respect. And they get all defensive. Oh, the Britishers or the... What? The Britishers, the... What is that? Uh, imperialists. We are not slaves. Boss, if you act like this with such a defensive behavior, nobody wants to deal with you. People who are rich, successful, who have everything, they don't need you, man. You're a nothing, nobody. Continue. That's why, for me, don't join my group. I'm not begging you. You want to join, you follow the rules. You can't follow the rules, you're up in the air. Bye-bye. It's a shame. Uh, in fact, I'll tell you, my biggest regret was a couple of boys, a couple of young boys. I really like them. I'm being honest with you. I really like them. Their ego and defensive nature is what got them removed. Lately, one boy, I just asked him, give me your name, age, what you do, where are you from? He was busy arguing and debating with some elders. He was not respecting them. So I just asked him, give me your name, age, what you do, where are you from? Because I wanted to, seriously, I wanted him to be part of my other six, seven groups. I thought he added a lot of value. I asked him this, there's no response. He was busy arguing with one of my other uh, members who is 40 plus, who has traveled the world, seen the world, now he's retired, rich guy, who has been in the Middle East, is busy schooling him, trying to school him. So I asked him, just, just give me your details. He doesn't reply. My, that 40 year old member said, oh, whenever Loy talks, this guy is silent. And then finally he says, I know what you're going to do. He doesn't answer my question. He said, I know what you're going to do. You're going to put me in something and I refuse to be put in something. Yeah, some shit he said, I know what you want. I said, boss, just give me your this thing. 
again he refused and he is giving a lecture you know so and so so for me i give one opportunity and i didn't tell him what i was planning for him i really was planning like him to join multiple groups and join maybe a mentoring group and i really had good plans for him but i didn't tell him he was a very smart guy and so well if you break my rules irrespective of how much talent you have remove him and then i see the audacity he sends me private you think you're always right you think you're the smartest you boss i don't need i blocked him fine and then he doesn't stop there he goes to my other senior members and say oh you guys think you're so smart you let lawyers he wants slaves you think they are interested in you you're a small kid without a job living under mummy and daddy who are your roommates you can't pay your bills you think anyone's interested even if you can pay your bills how much would you earn how much would you earn what 500 dollars a month 1000 these people earn sometimes 1000 dollars a day man they are doing you a favor by talking to you by advising you guiding you not the other way around you people in this whatsapp world feel they know everything anyway this is what i wanted to share with you it's frustrating that so much talent so much potential are indians their ego no will destroy them fine you want uh, to talk hey how are you like i saw one video where jeff bezos was standing out one guy literally homeless hey jeffy how are you doing buddy yeah you want to succeed in life be humble that's something i've learned the hard way be humble at least with people who deserve your respect you start beating your chest better have something worthwhile to show you don't have a career you don't have money you don't have anything accomplished you are not a learned person you don't even have age on your side why the fuck would anyone respect you man anyway this is what i wanted to share with you let me know your thoughts in the comments below good bad ugly love to hear from you and yeah for those of you who feel what i'm saying is bad you're free to leave my groups please you're welcome to leave my groups don't join don't follow my channel don't watch my videos i would rather have few people but who are respectable and respectful who are humble than to a bunch of know it alls who know everything and they can teach everyone even though in real life they have accomplished zero good bad ugly let me know your thoughts this is me signing off you guys take care